Hey everyone. What's up guys, unofficial MCU here. Hope you're all doing well, and in this video we have an interesting report into the regards of not just Deadpool 3, but also for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Of course, we're gonna go ahead and hop right on into it. Before we do though, however, grab that subscribe button if you haven't already, as we're discussing and covering all types of Marvel-related news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns here on the channel. So if you guys are into any of that, go ahead and grab that subscribe button today. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be taking a quick read from InsideTheMagic.net. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well as an overall garnering source as well. Do take all of this with a bit of a grain of salt because I feel like every couple of months this comes up in the conversation within the community and within the news of different reports circulating around of saying of how Disney wants to essentially reboot or soft reboot the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And while now some reports are coming out saying that that's exactly what, what Disney wants to do and Marvel Studios wants to do with Deadpool 3. In July, Marvel Studios will seemingly reboot the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and who knows what the future holds after that event with Deadpool 3. Kevin Feige's beloved Marvel Cinematic Universe, the MCU, was once a fortified stronghold of superhero action and entertainment. Like any franchise, the MCU has had its misses during its 16-year history run, but overall the blockbuster giant has been well received by audiences and critics alike, and only continues to do so. But Long gone seems to be the days of the continued successes back to back. In 2023, Marvel Studios released its two poorest performing films to date. First, there was Peyton Reed's Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, which Despite opening to a positive $104 million in the box office, it seemed to kind of have bombed in its second week at Marvel movie theaters and was kind of trashed by fans. Not even James Gunn's beloved Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 from last year as well could resurrect a consistent and reliable viewership as following Vol. 3's box office success, Nita Costa's The Marvels became one of the worst performing MCU movies of all time, netting just $206 million globally in the box office as a massive $270 million budget. It didn't earn Disney any money essentially but nonetheless when you compare the Marvel's movie and I will always defend it to other just movies out and about in the theaters it over of course achieved on those but when you compare it to other Marvel movies it wasn't on par the Marvel's performance was a far cry from Captain Marvel's 2019 first movie billion dollar taking was just five years ago it seems the volume of movies heading to theaters, paired with the near-constant stream of TV shows on the Walt Disney Company streaming service Disney+, Plus, has kind of contributed to the lack of interest and apparent decrease in quality of the MCU. Quality over quantity or quantity over quality is what fans have called for. However, Disney Chief Executive Officer Bob Iger himself seems to think that superhero fatigue isn't really a real thing and that Marvel should just focus on making good movies. They want great films and if you build it great, they will come. And they are countless examples of that, Iger said to the San Francisco Morgan Stanley Conference in early March. This came after Bob Iger said that Marvel does not need to be making that many any sequels. The past few years have been packed with a second or third movie, and it's kind of always been implied at that. Even some of those, you know, series coming out with fourth installments, like Captain America 4, in certain series. Think Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Thor Love and Thunder being a fourth installment, and Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Some of these sequels don't necessarily need to happen or at least need to happen so soon it was always kind of a given that those you know sequels and at least three installments would be made per each character in a way with the first captain america three movies and the first three iron man movies and the first three thor movies but it seems that there's so many different superheroes out there that they aren't able to necessarily meet that that is a changing though a changing world Though, apart from Captain America Brave New World, the MCU's future multiversal saga slate is refreshingly new. Upcoming is the likes of Deadpool and Wolverine, or Deadpool 3, Blade in 2025, the Thunderbolts in 2025, and the Fantastic Four in 2025. Those are all new names and new heroes. Could this be a sign? Could the fact that only Deadpool and Wolverine airing this year a signal a reboot could be coming, or at the very least, a soft reboot? Fans know that Deadpool is recruited by the Time Variance Authority to the timeline that we see in the trailer of Deadpool 3. 
with Ryan Reynolds, Wade Wilson, Deadpool himself, saying that your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. And as I had mentioned from the get-go at the beginning of this video, this isn't the first time that we've heard any idea of Disney wanting to reboot or soft reboot the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Back in 2019, almost five years ago, the Walt Disney Company had acquired the 21st century and its rights, and in doing so, had regained the rights to a number of popular Marvel figio figures, specifically within X-Men. The Fantastic Four, the X-Men, and Deadpool all returned to Marvel Studios and under their umbrella for them to use as they wish. The Fantastic Four are coming in 2025 with their own solo movie, of course, led by Pedro Pascal, Vanessa Kirby, Joseph Quinn, and Ebon Moss as Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, Woman, The Human Torch, and The Thing, all respectfully. As for the X-Men, though, there are whispers of the mutant squad making their way into live action, but for now, audiences can tune into the sequel of the beloved X-Men animated show, X-Men 97, on Disney+. Plus. Ryan Reynolds already has had his two fan-favorite Deadpool films under his belt. Deadpool, 2016, directed by Tim Miller, and Deadpool 2, 2018, directed also by... David Lynch. In July, Sean Levy will helm Deadpool and Wolverine or Deadpool 3, and both Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman will reprise their respective roles as Wade Wilson and or Deadpool and Logan and Wolverine. However, before Disney got their hands on the franchise, another Deadpool 3 was actually in motion with a different storyline, a different script, produced in part by Marvel Entertainment actually themselves. There were two plans underway before they ended up being scrapped when Disney took over. The first was a spinoff of X-Force as a movie, and the second was the official Deadpool 3 movie. Back in 2017, CinemaBlade.com had spoke to Deadpool writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick about Deadpool's future saying that, yeah, Deadpool 3 will be different from X-Force, so I think that we'll be able to take two paths, Reese had said. One is where we're launching something bigger, but then another is where we're contracting and staying personal and small with Deadpool 3, so I think it's the best of all worlds, really. Ending that quote right there. Earlier this year, fans also got an insight into what that personal and more smaller vibe world kind of would have been or have delivered. Dope finder actor Karen Sony told ScreenRant.com that Deadpool 3 would have seen the Merc with the Mouth travel to the North Pole to save Christmas, essentially, as a Deadpool 3 movie initially. It's honestly not as interesting, if I'm being honest, than with what we're actually going to be getting in just a couple of months with Deadpool and Wolverine. It's clear after scrapping Deadpool 3, the initial one that they had came up with under Fox's kind of um, studio vision, that that was actually going to be scrapped due to Disney taking on the rights of the Deadpool character. Marvel has shifted priorities and has ins instead turned Deadpool 3 into what we now know and kind of love here, Deadpool and Wolverine, and what feels like a soft reboot to the MCU. But how? According to Scooper Insider, Dan Daniel Richman had it shared by comicbookmovie.com as well, Deadpool and Wolverine will bring a new understanding to the multiverse and within the MCU. Deadpool and Wolverine will introduce something known as the Anchor. His explanation from Daniel Richman isn't the clearest, but as far as we can tell and kind of what we're able to make of this is that it seems this means that when a multiversal variant is killed, presumably in the battle world like Area from the teaser and the set photos, their world begins to decay as well until it vanishes from existence. Existence. Teamed with the knowledge that Loki is now the one in charge of the branch timelines as well as the sacred timeline as the one who remains, and from the slithers of information gleaned from the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer itself, it suggests that a soft reboot of some sort could and would be happening, and that they're kind of trying to condense down on characters and different worlds essentially within the MCU. There is literally a demolished 21st Century Fox logo in the upcoming Marvel movie Deadpool 3 after all as well. And as we head towards the next Avengers chapters, Avengers 5 in 2026 and Avengers Secret Wars in 2027, Deadpool and Wolverine may be the prosecutor to what type of MCU fans will be heading into, like where that is all kind of going to take place in a weird way. And I don't necessarily believe Deadpool 3 to be a clear-cut reboot or soft reboot even for the MCU. I think that it is a clear step and direction of what, what Marvel Studios wants to do within the next couple of years with the MCU to help kind of condense it down and organize things just a little bit more. This is all being said, guys. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I would love, love, love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been an official MCU. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. Peace out.